Hey guys, 54 Newstar here with another quick tutorial for Sakara.com. Today we're going to be dealing with effects. So this is something I've been really wanting to do. Um, and then we're going to be doing with a couple more videos and I'll probably get into tile maps or something like that. So we're going to be go going into more specific details on the features of Construct 2. Right now we're going to be dealing with a smoke effect uh, that you could turn into smoke or into an air conditioning like effect, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. Is I have this like sci-fi office scene, and I want to create. I have this little, you know, ventilation, and I'm going to have actually a couple different types of um, air conditioning effects going on. So I have my smoke effect right here. I, it was a regular effect from Unity or anything that you can actually click uh, and get off of Google Images, and then I just using a image editor. Um, actually, I. I think I just used the one inside the engine. I just turned it uh, black and white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go insert new object, particles, I'm going to place it somewhere, and then I'm going to actually select the image. So I'm going to select it, smoke, we go, uh, I'm going to crop it a bit, and then we're good to go. So we're going to delete the original one, and we have this one right here. Okay, this air, uh, arrow where it gets larger is actually where it's going to come out. So I'm going to actually reverse that and then move it. But I also want it to get smaller. Um, so right now I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Also, uh, some people have been saying, hey, how do I get a node web kit? So I'm going to select off the game. I'm not going to select any part of the game. It's going to be this little blue area. Um, then I'm going to select, I'm going to go into properties and under effects project properties view so this would be a blue button view click that and under properties again configure settings it's going to say right under that browser uh, pre uh, preview browser I'm going to select that and I'm going to say select node web kit and that's how you get it so we're going to run layout it's going to start preview and then it should come out and there we go we have a, a little you know that's more of a smoke or if you know you can think of some sort of particle rocket or something like that I don't want that I mean it's nice but not exactly what I want so I want to speed to around 100 and we're gonna play with around we're gonna play with the speed a bit uh, size um, we're gonna play around with 16 opacity I want this to be kind of clear ish so I'm gonna go down with 60 and then we're gonna play from there uh, the rate, 20, spray cone, I'm going to do continuous spray, uh, effects. Now this is where we're going to get kind of interesting, and uh, this is the main key of this tutorial, is I want pixelate. So we got a whole bunch of pixelation going on right here. We got hexagonal, hexagonal pixelate mask, pixelate, pixelate mask, polar invert, radial pixelate, and radial pixelate mask. And they have a whole bunch of little um, uh, little definitions that I really like and you don't get really with a whole bunch of other engines. Um, I do. I did normal pixelate, so create a blocky low resolu resolution image also known as mosaic. So there we go. And then we have to choose the pixelation size. Um, I like it to be pixelated, but not too pixelated. So I'm going to play around with that and see what it looks like. So there we go. We have some sort of air conditioning effect. I'm actually going to size these up a bit. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to 26 on the size and then run it again. And so it's a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to duplicate this and do another one. So we have two air conditioning vents, two small ones. There we go. And then I'm going to do a bigger one. So we're going to duplicate it again. And we're going to actually copy paste, move it over there. And then we're going to size this up. Uh, so size is actually, I'm going to move back to 32. Um, speed, I want this to be a bit slower, so we're going to move down to 50. And then the rate, number of particles shot out. Um, I'm going to do 40 spray cone and do that. Uh, let's see what it looks like at 80. 
I'm going to see if I can cover it. I'm going to hit run. Okay, not exactly. Let's move down to 60. That looks more like a smoldering item, so we don't exactly want that. So uh, move speed back up to 100. Let's see what that looks like. Again, it's good. The issue is that spray cone. Let's move that to 80. Again, when you're doing game development, you really do a lot of game um, like testing. Okay, so it's really good. Uh, the cone effect is kind of affecting it. Um, so I'll move that up to straight to 100. Let's see. No, let's do. 180, so it's, there we go, it's uh, basically a flat plane. And then I wanted to start there. Uh, the size, let's play around 64, and then go down from there. Okay, it's good, but I want its speed to be a bit faster, and the cone needs to be a bit down. So let's play around with 160. So we're actually telling it to go somewhere, and then the speed needs to be 200. Okay, it's still telling it too too much wide, so we need to actually uh, play around with 120. Looks like 90 is going to be a little bit better. Okay, that's good. And then our speed needs to be moved down to about, I'd say, 120. And then we want it to be opacity or rate. Let's see. Grow rate, I'm going to say minus 10. That's, I said a minus 100. I don't want a minus 100, but minus 10. So I actually want it to shrink. Okay. So we're almost there. Um, let's try 100 particles. I want to see what, what that looks like. Again, that looks almost like smoke. So I think that's what our problem is. And then we're going to move down to, I say, 20 particles. Go with the both extremes to play w uh, to see what it looks like. There we go. And then I'm going to move it in the middle. And maybe we need two of them. It's good. It's not, you know, the best, but again, with a little playing around with it, you can actually get it to work. Um, there we go. Okay, particle acceleration, gravity, ten, randomizer, no, fade out to invisibility or timeout expired. I like fade to invisibility. Opacity randomizer. Uh, I'm gonna set that to ten to see what it looks like. Size randomizer ten. Okay, there we go. So I'm actually gonna set this to um, eight. I want the uh, larger particles to stay around longer. Okay, I need to set the size randomizer back down to zero. Gravity down to zero.
timeout to six. Run layout. It's going in weird directions that I don't want it to. So I'm going to copy this one and see what it does. Set it to four. Hmm. Here we go. I, I think we got it basically mastered right here. Um, again, it's not the best, but it actually does work, and it does work for a really awesome sci-fi scene. Um, what we can also probably do is turn this into fog. And then, which actually, which would be really interesting, but um, that will be for another tutorial, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.